Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Father, we worship you, we praise you, we magnify your name for the gift of life, the opportunity to be in your presence again this morning. Thank you for your word that strengthens, that heals, that gives purpose, and that straightens our paths for us. Thank you for your word even to the Lord. Thank you for the fertile hearts that we have. The word will grow in us and it will be a fruit worthy of you, o Lord. We give you praise. We magnify your name. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Beloved, it's another new week, and today we will be reading from the book of James, chapter 5. We'll be reading verse 17 and 18. And if you have the time, you can read from verse 13 downward. Amen. Verse 17 and 18 of James, chapter 5. Scripture record said, Elijah was a human being, even as we are. He prayed earnestly that it would not rain and it did not rain on the land for three and a half years again he prayed and the heavens gave rain and the earth produced its crop and the lord bless the region of his words in jesus name amen so this morning we are talking about we must pray Yes, we must pray. And the reason why we need to talk about prayer this morning is because we are told in this same James chapter 5 that in verse 16 that the prayer, the efficient prayer, the fervent, efficient prayer of the righteous person is powerful, it is effective. It availeth much. And it is important, therefore, that we begin to understand that prayer is a part of what God has given to us as his children for the communication that we have with him to be complete. And when we pray in passion, when we pray in piety, there is the assurance that God's promise to us that he will hear and he will answer it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, you would understand that the word of God is very clear that we cannot expect God's work or assistance in our daily affairs without having a passionate and persistent prayer life. You know, in Luke chapter 18 and verse 1, Jesus said, or told us that much when he said, men all ought always to pray and not to faint. If it was not important, he wouldn't have said that. If it was not important, he wouldn't have taught the disciples how to pray. When he said, when you pray, this is how you should pray. Our Father who art in heaven, Yes. So, but not something. In this scripture in James chapter 5, James reminds us of the Old Testament prophet Elijah, which we just read in verse 17 and 18. He said he prayed earnestly that it will not rain. The passion, the passion of the petitioner is very important. In verse 16, he said the efficient, the efficient, the fervent prayer the effectual, the fervent prayer of the righteous, availeth. The passion of the petitioner must be operative. It must be active. It must be at work. It means that you must put forth power and energy in your request. If you go to somebody and you are making a request and you are lackadaisical about it, how would you? Somebody comes to you lackadaisical about what they are requesting. Do you take that person as serious? Does it, does it come to you that this person knows how important what they are talking about is? Or does it show the importance of what the person is saying? So, 
Yes, Paul's encouragement in Ephesians chapter 3 and verse 20 says, Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we ask or think, according to the power that worketh, that worketh the energy in us. The power that worketh in us. Now, it's the second part that we must have and that we must pray with is piety. Yes, piety. You see, scripture tells us in the book of Isaiah, it says, God's ears are not blocked, that he cannot hear. His eyes are not blind, that he cannot see. His arms are not shortened, that he cannot reach us. He said, but what I seen has caused an enmity between us and God. So a man that totally trusts in God and abides in his teaching before him and men, his prayers cannot go on answers. Praise the Lord. First Peter 3 and verse 12. Scripture says, The eyes of the Lord are over the righteous, and his ears are open unto their prayers. But the face of the Lord is against them that do evil. That's it. That's it. Piety, you must be in the presence of God. He knows our strength. He knows our weakness. He has seen our misdeed. He has seen our secret sins. But his eyes is upon them that are righteous. Notice. And finally, there is the promise from God. Oh my God. There is the promise from God. Philippians 4 and verse 13. It says, I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. All things. Elijah prayed earnestly, passionately, that it will not rain, and he did not. He prayed again. And the windows of heaven opened, and there was rain. There was latter rain. Hallelujah. He prayed. He prayed. There is the promise that God will bring forth the showers of blessings from heaven. So when we pray in faith, in accordance with the will of God, with persistency and favor, hallelujah, God will grant. Our request. But you see, it will grant the request we have said already of those that are righteous. Are you in a relationship with this God? Do you know Him? Or well, something has happened to your relationship with Him? Oh, my dear friends, my brothers and sisters, now is the time to give your life to Him. Yeah, now, now, not before, not after, not after, not after, now, please. And if I decided to make that choice this morning, I have this message for you. Oh, Jesus is here to walk side by side and in you, over you, to steady you, even through whatever life throws at you. So we'll pray with you this morning. And remember to call the numbers on the screen so that we can walk with you as Jesus leads the way. Father in heaven, we thank you for everyone that has said your word this morning. Father, let the same Jesus be their God and salvation. Oh, Father, let their prayers and cry of help by the reason of their turning this morning receive answers. Let the favor that they need, Lord, in the place and in the order of prayer come true for them. Father, let them see you, love you, and walk in the righteousness of heaven. We give you praise. We magnify your name. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen.